Hi, my name is Methat El Masri. The title of today's video is Reading app.config file from a .NET 8 console or web application. For those of you who are not familiar with the app.config file, this used to be the standard configuration file with .NET applications, both console and web applications prior to .NET Core. It is an XML file and it was very easy to read from that file. Of course, since .NET Core came out, the preference is to use a JSON file and typically that would be the app settings .json. There is an advantage to reading from an XML file especially for those people who are more comfortable with XML as opposed to JSON. And also the actual process of using that file is very easy because all you need to do is import a package system.configuration.configuration manager and you're able to read from this XML file. So let's get started and we will do two things in this tutorial. We will first read from a console application and then we will see if we can use the same principle to read from a Razor Pages web application. So first let's create a console application and that would be .NET new console and we'll call the application read app config. Let's go into this newly created directory and in here all we need to do is add a package called system.configuration.configuration manager. So .NET add package system.configuration.configuration manager. Let's open our application in VS Code and here it is. We need to add the app.config file. So let's create a new file here and let's call it app.config and let me add in there a typical XML file that represents the app.config file. And here is a simple example. So we've got two sections here. We've got the app settings and the connection strings section. In the app settings, typically we add name value pairs. So in this example, we have an endpoint and it's got a URL. So the key is endpoint and the value is the URL. And over in the connection strings section, we have a typical connection string for SQL Server. So the name of the connection string is SQL Server. The provider name is this, and this is the actual connection string. So let's go now into our program.cs file and delete what we have here. And let's import this namespace that we need. So it would be using system.configuration. So let's read these two values. One is the endpoint and the other is the connections. Here they are. All you need to do is use the configuration manager class to read the endpoint app set. And for the connection string, you use the same class, but use the connection strings dictionary instead. Pass the key and grab the connection string. The other thing you can grab, of course, is the provider name. And the provider name would give you this. Let's just print that out. And we can do that with these commands. In our terminal window, we'll simply do a .NET run. There it goes. We can see that it read endpoint app.config and also the connection. Let's do the same thing from a web app. So I will go to the parent directory and here let's create a laser pages app. So that would be .NET new razor and we'll call this read app config web. Let's go into that directory and import the same namespace. I will recall it from my previous app and this is it. And let's get into the application. In here, we will create the same app.config that we used earlier on and it would be this app.config and I'll paste the same XML. Now, this is a web application. So let's go into a web page. In this case, because these are razor pages, this is the view and this is the code behind. I'm just gonna import the namespace in the code behind. So over here, I'm going to go using system.configuration that we did earlier on. And down here, instead of 
you know, wasting time and displaying it in the view and all that. What I'm going to do is simply read the settings and spit them out in this logger object. So for the settings, let's do this. I'm going to go string and then underscore endpoint equals to configuration manager. Now, there's a bit of a problem because if you look at the message here, it says configuration manager is an ambiguous ref between Microsoft extensions configuration manager and system configuration manager. This means that this particular class exists in two places. So we want to make sure that it grabs it from this namespace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it an alias. So let's say app config equals and I'm going to qualify this configuration manager with this name. So there is no ambiguity and I will do the same thing for the connection string. So instead of that, I come here and say dot connection strings and the key would be SQL server. This is the key I for and connecting. Now let's just spit this out. Actually, it's not key. Let me call connection string and let's just spit it out here. I'm going to come here and say logger log information and this and then logger Let's spit out the connection. So now, if we run this dot net run, this is the web application. Of course, if I go to this page, go into my browser, edge, let me paste this here. In a terminal window, you will see that it read the endpoint app setting and it read string. I hope you found this valuable and I'm sure there are some use cases for using app.config. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.